Hi, today we're going to be working on this motherboard. Customer complaint is when he loses power to the motherboard, BIOS settings are lost, and he will have a message F1 to enter the BIOS before the computer starts. He did replace the CMOS battery, made no difference. Okay, so what we're going to do to start off, let's put in a new battery. Okay, with the new battery installed, let's just do a quick voltage check. We're looking for 3 volts. New battery. But we do indeed get 3 volts. Okay, so here there is a, a diode which will separate the 3 volts coming in from the power supply and the 3 volts from the battery. So the output of that diode. 1.19 okay so that's the problem so if we don't get any 3 volts on the output of this it will definitely not keep clock settings bio settings and things like that so let's connect the power supply let's check the output of that diode again okay so I've connected a power supply the power supply is on but I haven't started the computer so you the motherboard is in standby mode so now we'll go back to this little diode here. I'll show you under the microscope what it looks like. So the input of that diode from the power supply, and we're getting 3.4 volts, which is normal. The output now, which will be borrowing the EC chip and the bias and all that, 3.4. So that's why if it doesn't have a power cut to the motherboard, it just has a shutdown the computer does retain the settings only if there's a power loss to the actual motherboard does he does the customer lose all the bio settings okay next up let's test the customer's complaint so powering on the motherboard And there's the message the customer was talking about. CMOS time and date not set. Press F2 or delete to run setup. Or press F1 to continue. So press F2 into the BIOS. Let's just change boot from onboard LAN from disabled. Let's put that to enabled. Save changes as an exit. So back to the BIOS. Settings are still saved. Right, so let's just do a shutdown of the machine. So we haven't disconnected the power. The motherboard is still in standby mode. Let's restart the motherboard. No error message. And the... There we go. So the food from LAN is still enabled. Right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna power off again. All right, so powering off the motherboard. And this time we're gonna do, we're going to switch off the power supply. So we're gonna cut all power to the motherboard. All right. Switching the power supply back on, restarting the motherboard. And there we go, back to the message that the UEFI defaults have been loaded. Let's just go back in there and confirm. Move from LAN back to disabled. So, customer complaint is confirmed. Okay, so I've got the diode on the left off the board. The diode on the right I've recovered from a donor board. Let's just do a quick test. So, continuity one way, we should get, and on the other way, the diode should block continuity, and it doesn't. So this diode is shorted between those two legs. 
a replacement diode. Current continuity that way and the opposite way we shouldn't get anything. And we don't. So the replacement diode tastes good. Let's get that fitted. Okay, so we've masked off the plastic components in the area, like the battery holder with some aluminium tape. I've added some fresh solder and some flux to the pads. Right, so now time to test the new diode. So the input to the diode from the battery, 3 volts. And the output, 3 volts. So that diode is now working normally. The input from the 3 volt standby, we should have nothing. And we have nothing. So that diode is working normally now. This motherboard We'll be able to keep its bio settings. This motherboard is now repaired. As always, thanks for watching. Remember there's always a fix. And I'll see you in the next one.